All right, guys, here we go. Part two of the jumbo. They're about six foot Amazon pallets. These are larger items. Um, I paid around $1,000 per pallet, but really I paid about 15% of retail for the items that are in here. So, you know, $100 item, I would have paid 15 bucks for, and my goal would be to sell that same item for 50 bucks. Anyhow, we're gonna jump right into it. I do have my computer up to do some price checking. I will try not to bore you too much with that. Uh, in the future, I should be able to put the prices up on the screen as we're looking together, but I don't have that computer here at the new shop. That computer's at home. So, anyhow, uh, jumbo pallet. I would say there's probably 20, maybe 25 items to check out. And let's get at it. All right, first up we have some, <clears throat> I hate when they do this, when they tape. So you have the plastic wrap, but then you have every layer, every set of boxes is all taped together. Look at this. So tape here, tape there, tape there. Just is a little bit excessive when you're already gonna plastic wrap it. But that's the way they did it. All right, here we go, spec D. These are a headlight set, and it's for a um, F350, F450. So I'll have to look up the exact um, value of this, but a lot of these go for about 100 to 150 bucks, and that's an eBay item. Most, like something like that locally, just not probably as much interest as there would be online, so it's, it's, more, um, it's more valuable on eBay than it would be locally. Um, I had three of these on the last, the last pallet for those who watched this. So this is the Everlast Hyper Strike, um, you know, speed bag, boxing bag. So these I'm gonna sell for $50 a piece. Okay, and that's gonna go on the shelf there. Uh, and those will get sold on Facebook Marketplace. Or when I have, if it doesn't get sold before my next garage sale, then they'll go out at the local garage sale. That's kind of how I'm doing it. The, the items that are worth about $25 to $30 or more that are, that are flagged for Marketplace also will go out the garage sale when I have that. All right, this is an Under Armour item. It says Under Armour Pro Series Catching. So it's probably, um, my guess would be a catcher's equipment, catcher's gear. So we got a box, a box within a box. Recycle that. Here we go. Some of these um, catcher's equipment can be pretty pricey. I've actually had one of these before in blue. So it's like the helmet. There's the helmet right there. Here's all. Here's the leg and knee pads, chest pads in there. Um, you can actually sell these as individual pieces as well on eBay. I probably just would sell the whole set. And let's see if. This has the Amazon return label. Let's see if it says why. Item return reason damage. So, I mean, a lot of times people say that because they don't want to pay return shipping, but I will have to go through and thoroughly inspect it. Let's just see how, I mean, it's, it's brand new. It's literally never been taken out of the packaging, so I can't imagine it actually is damaged, but we will double check everything. Is there a UPC to scan? I can tell you how much it goes for. Not a UPC, but there probably is one over here on this box that it was in. All right, let's try 55034. And retail value it says was $409 for that. So right now it's currently on Amazon. It is the Under Armour Baseball Softball Catcher Chest Protector. It's UAHG3Y. It's $379 on Amazon. So, Probably 200 to 250 on eBay. That's a really good item. So, so far we have um, 50 bucks, 250, 350 already. This is a, it says scooter. A2 scooter. Oh, it's a little Razor scooter. Nice. That's an easy, uh, easy flea market item. Probably twenty bucks if it's if it's good to go. All right. 
This is pretty heavy. Probably about a 40 pound item, whatever's in here. I probably should turn the camera down a little bit, guys. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, that should be better. Hopefully you can see those other items. But either way, we're gonna keep on moving. I'm gonna do a quick mic check because the last video, my mic was, uh, got disconnected. All right, we look good. Oh my gosh, this is heavy. What is this? I'm almost afraid to open it just because I don't know how easy it's gonna be to get back in there. Hydraulic chain and cable cutter. Holy smokes. I'm gonna leave that in the box. It looks like it's in there and packed up fine, like factory wrapped still. But I do have a UPC here. I can just look it up, 78320. I have a list of everything that was on this pallet with the UPC. So I just searched through uh, Excel. I just typed the wrong number. 78320. I didn't get a hit on that one. Check on eBay. Alright, let's see what this goes for. No way. No way. Let's, before I go uh, jump into conclusions here, I always like to check Google because eBay is saying it's $2,000 for this cutter. Hydraulic chain and cable cutter, model number 88, um, and it's by 3M Tools, TMT. Wow. And then I just found it on another website here. So if you can see there on that website, $1,300. But either way, they're saying this is a $1,300 item. I don't see any solds on eBay. I don't know how popular it is. At minimum, it's gonna be two, 300. It could be 500, it could be, it could be 1,000. So I'll have to just do my research, a little more research and see what I can figure out. But that's a really, really cool item for a commercial chain cutter. Um, this is another one of those spec D. This is uh, just one single tail light, maybe 20 bucks. You're gonna have to wait for the right buyer. Nothing too special there. Yes. All right, this looks like a, a cooler. In the last video, I had two coolers and they were both broken. So maybe I'll get lucky with one. Nope, this was also busted. So. Igloo cooler, and if you can see right here, the uh, the handle's cracked off. So I don't know. Somebody clever enough could probably clean that up and put like a, a rope on there to give them a little handle. But if you didn't need to use the handle to drag it around, it's still perfectly good for it's brand new to use for a work a work truck or take to the beach. You would just need to carry it and not drag it. So that's a. That is a garage sale item that won't even go on Facebook Marketplace. That will be, I would say 10 bucks for that. Look at that big box that was in. Lost my sign. Ah. All right, let's keep moving. All right, this is a, um, a bracket for an aftermarket seat for a car. So this is for a Toyota, uh, Toyota 4Runner. So if you want to put like a, a Sparco like racing seat, I think that's the name of that company. You need a special bracket to hold that. And that's what these, these brackets are retail for like 150 to $200. I've sold three of them before in the past and I get around a hundred bucks a piece for them. So that's an eBay item there. A lot of eBay on this lot. A lot of big eBay stuff. This literally feels like something that weighs less than a pound 
in a giant box. It is, I believe it's gonna be a vent cover for a camper. Or a trailer, yep. <laughs> it says, missing screws, they all went flying. <laughs> so whoever, I mean, it's got some screws and brackets right there. But if someone has a, a black RV or a camper or a trailer, you gotta have these on the top for your ventilation. But that's crazy how big that box was for that one item. That'll be, it's probably a, I bet that's a 30 to $40 um, hood. I'll probably get 10 bucks for it. Having a little energy drink, it's, uh, about three o'clock on a Friday, so need a little boost. I was up early shipping. I had 32 orders went out this morning on eBay. So I got those out, came down here, um, put my shelves up. We unboxed one pallet already, going for pallet number two. Everything from pallet number one, I already have photographed and ready to go on market, Facebook Marketplace and eBay. So kind of new, new procedure. I'm not fully set up, but as I open stuff up, I decide what we're gonna do with it. And then right then and there before, before anything else happens, it gets photographed. So, uh, so it can actually be properly listed and not put in a pile to be done later. Cause that's what happens with a lot of stuff. A lot of those other pallets are items that I kind of put off cause they're bigger items. These are um, really cool little carts. I do well selling these on Marketplace. This is a smaller, like you probably could use it for like a computer cart, just like a small little utility cart. So that's like a mini one. Um, the bigger carts I get 40 bucks for. So this one maybe 25 or, or 30. So that's gonna be a marketplace item. All right, I actually have someone who wants a, um, one of the regular size carts. So I'm hoping there's one of those on here because I don't have any at the house right now, but I know there's some on these pallets. Wow. No clue what this is. It says uh, Torin 3260 uh, black red ring. Oh, it's probably a rim. It's probably a rim. I had two of them in the last one. This, um, these pallets were labeled as home improvement and automotive. So I was like tools, home improvement, automotive, something like that. So, um, these wheels are like two something retail. I have, actually, I think I already have this exact one. So I'll just change the quantity. It's over there. See, it's sitting right there. Change the quantity to two. I obviously got to double check it, but uh, I'll be listing them for around 100, 150 bucks. And I just got to wait for the right buyer that just needs one wheel, which does happen. All right. It's really nice having all this space to kind of spread out. And then when I'm done doing the video, I can take 15 minutes and clean it all up. This is a Trimax wheel lock. Oh, I have, I've seen one of these before. Where did I see that at? There's, there's another one of these over there, I believe. So this is like a heavy duty lock you put on your trailer. It's almost, um, like those boots you see on TV, the parking people go around and put on cars that haven't paid their tolls or their parking. So there's that. The box is all messed up and there are parts literally falling out of it. Ugh, the keys just fell out. So I'm gonna have to inspect that pretty thoroughly. They retail for around a hundred bucks. So it's probably a $50 item, assuming it's all there. Um, someone did return it, here's the Amazon. Uh, they returned it for being damaged, so it may not be good, but I do have another one in between the two of them. I'm sure I can get a complete set. All right, bear with me, guys. Let's see if we can find one more really good item, something worth a couple hundred bucks. We got one, two, three, four. It looks like about six more things to do. Oh, this is one of those carts I was looking for. So hopefully this one's good. And I can let that guy know that he can come pick it up. Nope, so this is a, uh, a Luxor utility card. It has to be put together. 
But basically that's the bottom, it gets wheels on it. Um, and this is a two tier. They retail for about 120 bucks. I've been selling them for 40, just get rid of them because I've had quite a few of them. So that is gonna be probably sold today. Once I get off this video, I will message the guy. This is another one of those Under Armour sets. So now I have two of those. Sweet, and that's like a $200 item. So there we go. So this hasn't been the, the, the last pallet had a lot more higher dollar items than this one has, but there we go. Another brand new set. So now I got quantity of two. Um, it is what, mid-January and baseball season starts up here in the spring. So this is actually a really good time. I can get these listed and um, get them sold. All right, let's go for this one. Or not, we'll take, we'll go for this one. What we got here? Boop -boo. What the heck is this thing? Oh, here it is. Oh, this is uh, another one of those um, concrete tools. I'm pretty sure 48 professional something. It's probably a 48 inch tool of some sort. Oh, yep, check that out. It's a level, four foot level. Sands and Level Company, it's really nice. Really nice level, I would say brand new like that, probably 20 bucks at the garage sale. Let's keep it out of the box, because that's kind of a waste. So there's a garage sale item for another 20 bucks. This is a, um, an outdoor seat cushion, so it's literally the, the cushion you would put on uh, your outdoor furniture. People buy these as replacements. They actually go for around like 30 bucks. So what it is is there's the cushion itself, the square cushion that would go on your seat. And then here's, this one happens to be maroon. So if anyone needs a maroon cushion, uh, eBay, you know, 25, probably 20 bucks plus shipping. That might end up in the garage sale. That's kind of getting to the price point where it's a little bit too cheap for me to take the time to, uh, to pay to have someone list it. I'd rather just get rid of the garage sale for like five bucks, get my money back and move on. My, uh, my new business strategy, it's more about turnover and moving more product and not about trying to get every dime out of every, every item. Just looking for something because I thought I had another one of these. This is a big cooler and I thought I did. I have another one of these at the warehouse, but it must have ended up back in my garage at my house because I have one of these listed on um, Facebook right now for, I believe 150 is what I got list for. They go for 250, but it's a huge white Igloo cooler, but this is like the hard, a really nice hard case one so it's like a $200 cooler really nice check that out see this is the second one of these I've gotten I still had the other one but it probably will, will sell this spring or summer it's got the tray this is brand new not even a scratch on it so um, Definitely 100 bucks, if not 150. It's got the steel uh, cables. Really good, high quality cooler. They, they definitely are trying to compete with like Yeti uh, and, the, and those brands. All right, guys, looks like two more items. And then I can put that cart together. And oh gosh, this is heavier than I thought. Holy smokes. I'm pretty sure this is literally a weight, a kettlebell, because it says right on there, kettlebell, 35 pound. Let's see what we got. Wow. I can work out here in the shop. Oh my goodness. That sucker's heavy. There we go. Jeez. Probably shouldn't be doing that. I don't want to hurt myself. 
35 pound kettlebell. No clue what that goes for. I know ever since COVID, the uh, workout stuff is, was through the roof. I think it's kind of leveled back out, but it is uh, after the new year, a lot of people do go to uh, back to weight loss and diets and all that. So 20388, I wonder if it's on here. Normally they say weights are uh, on average, I think you, you can say like a dollar a pound. So it's 35 pounds, so 35 bucks. But it's a kettlebell, so it might be worth a little bit more. Problem is there's only one. I would think you would need two, but maybe not for a kettlebell. Ugh. My working out is moving all this stuff and then moving it again and then moving it when I sell it. So I don't really need to, need to work out too much. All right, one last item. I have a feeling this is gonna be one of those carts because I thought there was gonna be another one on this, on this pallet. Let's see. Oh, I was wrong. Holy smokes. That's right. There's all the coolers. <laughs> Check that out. Six coolers. Bam. Brand new. One. Just make sure they're all in good shape. Two. These are awesome. Three, they got some stickers on them. I could get that off, but I'll probably just sell them like that and let the... Now this one here is busted. It's all taped up for one, but the button that opens and closes it is missing. So, I mean, that could be one I keep around here. I am gonna get a little mini refrigerator, but in the meantime, I might be able to use that to keep some food cold. <sighs> this was busted too, dang. So for some reason, the... Uh... The button, see that button there? It's, oh, it's got pushed in and it's stuck in. I wonder if I can get that to pop out. So that's two that are bad. Here comes the last one. Hopefully this one's all right. Well, that's weird. This one looks like the button's good, but it's missing the yellow igloo caps on both sides. But what I could do is I could probably just pop it off of one of these put it on there and that would give me four good coolers this has a barcode right on it. let's check it out and see what they go for since there are so many of them we can just scan it right in Google see who has the best match for shopping $27.99 to $50 depending on where you buy it from so I would say in the on a garage sale I don't know 10 bucks probably I just want to check and see if they are on Amazon. It's, shed, it's showing that they're not, but they might be. Yeah, $32.85. So I probably paid around $7, six to seven bucks. So it's, uh, it is on Amazon for $32.85 and it's got 11,000, almost 12,000 reviews. So good cooler there, maybe 15 bucks a piece. I'll throw them up, maybe throw them up on, uh, on Facebook or just save them for the garage sale. That's it, let's do a quick recap here, guys. It is a mess to show you the aftermath of the unboxing. Look at all that. So all those boxes over there, except for those two items are getting broken down. Those two things are for the garage sale. This is all stuff I need to list. That'll be a hundred bucks, hundred to 150 bucks on Marketplace. Um, there's some wheels, the two wheels in there. The lighting set, which is good. Um, this honestly is probably gonna be just a garage sale item. So I'll put that over here, this garage sale stuff. I really like the cooler, it's probably one of the better finds. Um, we got the kettlebell, all those coolers. We got the strike bag, which can go up with those other ones. Those will be listed today. Oh, and the day, the best, probably the best thing of all, as far as value goes, are these Under Armour Catcher's gears. The whole set, the helmet, the pads, the whole nine yards, and uh, they're gonna be 200 bucks a piece. So that's 400 right there. So all in all, a really good pallet. Yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments how you think I did on this one. Realistically, this pallet probably only had like, if I had to guess, I'd say $3,000, three dollars to $4,000 worth of value, total retail, all that. So which means I would have paid at 15%, would have been like um, uh, 3,000 would have been 300. So 450 plus shipping, it's 200, 250. Uh, so we'll say around, just say around $700 is what I paid for this pallet. It's not gonna be the best one. I will make a little bit of money, 
But the thing was, this pallet came with four other pallets, and some of those other ones were had home runs on it. The one pallet had over $10,000 worth of merchandise, and this is going back to some of my latest, last videos where I'm going through and unboxing smaller, like medium-sized boxes that have a full of stuff. So those were, um, this was part of that deal, but since it was bigger items and I didn't really have the space to stretch out like this, um, I just didn't break them down. Same thing with this one. And as I said before, these I have, some of them I have gone through, and if it was a big item, I just restacked it and rewrapped it, um, just because I couldn't, couldn't mess with it at the time. I was really looking for small stuff to get up on eBay before the holidays, which we did pretty well with. So anyhow, here's the shop. Uh, here's the mess I made. I'm gonna clean this up and get ready to get out of here, uh, get back home and get these items listed on Facebook and eBay. But uh, I do appreciate you stopping in, checking out the video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.